Hey, it's John Cook with Keynote Content. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm sitting in a bit of a different uh, context today. I'm outside. Um, and you can probably hear the birds chirping. And intentionally, I wanted you to catch the audio from the birds. Um, you know, spring is here um, in the Midwest. I'm traveling this week, uh, Midwest United States. And what I wanted us to lean into today is this idea of the fact that you have a voice that is echoing throughout the world. And that there are other people who are looking for your voice, who are looking for somebody saying, gosh, you're talking about the same thing that it really matters to me. And what can we do together if we mix our voices together to amplify uh, a message that's going to change the world? Over this past week, it's just been an, uh, an amazing uh, experience for so many different people as we finally see overdue conversations happening about racism, about prejudice, about um, a lot of atrocities that are happening that have been happening for 400 years because of slavery here in the U.S. and saying there are voices that need to be amplified. There are stories that need to be told. There are communities that are absolutely hurting. And when we talk about our messages, when we talk about these things that we can share to the world around us, it's important for us to say it's not about me. It's about who I can help serve, who who's life I can make better because I get to share this much, because I need to get to talk about whether it is talking about um, uh, rooting out racism, getting rid of prejudice, being able to rethink how we think about our communities. It's not the black community, it's not community, it's not the white community. It's those are our neighbors, our friends, coworkers, family members, people that we would say are um, are in the same part of life with us. I think I'm back now. Okay, um, sorry about that. It seemed to be an interu interruption in the stream, but. For the people that have a message, you have something that you want to share that you can share with the world around you that's going to make a difference, that can change someone's life. Somebody says, I've been looking for hope, and then when I finally encountered you, you were saying it in a way that re resonated with my heart, that connected with me. That's a powerful moment. That's a powerful experience. For us, we need to look at how does my message translate not just to me, but to other people beyond just this live stream, beyond just this podcast, beyond just this um, whatever the experience might be. And so the birds for me, as I was walking today, I was thinking about a bird when it wakes up in the morning, it's often tweeting, not saying, hey, it's the sunshine, wake up, good morning. It's saying for its partner saying, are you still here? Did you make it? Are you okay through the night? And we think about so many times of life, people, we go through the darkest times, go through, I don't know if we're going to get through to the end of this, but there are other people on their side saying, I'm here, you can get through this. There is hope for you. We are here together. And when our messages, whether you're writing that book, whether you're wanting to hold that podcast, be on that stage, share with that sales conversation, talk with that prospect, get on that coaching call, whatever it might be, your message is amplifying out to the world saying, hey, are you okay? Are you going through a tough time? Are you wanting to know that you're not the only one out there? And for your message for where we're at with the world of society, people are getting into the other end of this COVID-19 saying, gosh, are you okay? How are you holding up? Did you make it through okay? What are the challenges that you're facing right now that you maybe weren't facing three, four, six months ago? What is it that you're at from a family standpoint, from a relational standpoint, mindset, finances, whatever it might be, health, and for your message to connect with them saying there is hope for you on the other side of this darkness. There is hope because we're kicking open conversations that are long overdue. There is hope because there are people who are saying I needed to hear exactly what you needed to what you were saying, and it caught me right where I was standing, and and I saw that there is a shift in perspective, or there's a way that I'm approaching my finances, or my parenting, my the way that I have conversations with people who don't look and act and think like me, but it's kicking open those conversations because I connected with your book, your podcast, your message, whatever it might be. So this week is about, it's about getting a message beyond yourself. It's about amplifying your voice out into the world around us and saying, gosh, are there other people that can connect with what I'm saying that know that this has been burning inside my heart, burning inside from my background, my experience, my family of origin, whatever it might be. It's something that I've had to share for a while and I wanted to know when I put this message out into the world that, that I'm not the only one who's feeling that, not the only one who's thinking that, but for you to say, I'm putting this out there, connecting with the other people who are saying, no way. I thought I was the only one who was going through that. I thought I was the only one who was raised in that type of home or had that type of struggle or had those types of ideas or, or hopes to change the world. That's what your message does is that it amplifies out and then you're waiting for, that peop for people who, 
who have that same message to amplify the message back to you and say, yes, what can we do together? So as you go through this week, I want you to focus on love. I want you to focus on what is it that you can do to really get your message out into the world and saying, it's not about me. It's not about my message. It's about what I can put out into the world of hope, light, love, and, and saying, well, how can I learn from other people who are very different from me, who are, uh, grew up in a very different context or have a different perspective on life and saying there's a, probably a lot that I can learn if I can put that message out there, say asking questions, looking for feedback, getting other voices to speak back to me about here's what my perspective is. What I know to be true is that there are so many people who are hurting right now, incredible pain. There's so many people who are lost in ignorance right now that need people to say, what does it look like to go through life through your eyes? through your situation, through your job, through your family, and us being able to learn from that situation so we can better adjust and then amplify a fresher, more aligned message with what the world needs to hear. So go out into the world today, make it a great day, uh, find somebody who does not look like you, does not sound like you, does not